Beloved, we live in a time where relationships and marriages are taken for granted, where society embraces divorce, or couples simply remain in unhappy unions. But imagine coming to the house of God, a single man or woman, trusting God for a spouse, but not leaving alone. Beloved, watch how the prophetic plays a role in the establishment of a new relationship. Be blessed. You come, you come, come, you're looking at me. You, gentlemen, come here. Zaka. You are happy for him? You are happy for him. God is happy for you. Amen. Okay, 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 okay. It's okay. You are looking and checking me. Hey, which manner of man is this? Ha! <laughs> that can speak in this manner. He's a facilitator. God could have chosen anyone, but lucky was located. Facilitator of your miracle. My Amen. What is your name? Lucky Alex. You are lucky Alex. Yes. But I won't say that you are lucky today, you know. <laughs> this is not luck. This is blessing. blessing. Oh, yeah. Amen. You are favored today. Oh, Amen. Yes. Amen. Look at this. Are you working? Yes. Where do you work? At Albertin. You work at Alberton? Yes. What's your position? What do you do? Uh, I'm, I'm acting as a, su a supervisor. We are selling houses there. All right. So financially, you're fine, isn't it? I'm starting to get all right. You're starting to get all right? Yes, sir. But when I see you, relationship does not work with you, isn't it? That's true. I mean, well. You're part of the church? Yes. This is your house. This is your church? I mean. I'm your pastor? Yes, sir. You're part of the church? Yes, I, I joined the church last year. You joined church last year? Yes. Look at me. Do you love me? I love you very much, Pastor. Ouch. Wow. <laughs> Do you trust me? I trust you. Sir. You love me and you trust me? I trust you, man of God. All right. I, those are the only two things I need to do this that I have to do. You, your relationships are difficult. Are so, you married? No. Are you in a relationship currently? No, I'm single. You are single? Yes. Like with capital S. Exactly. I mean, it is not good for a man to be alone, beloved. But you have been trying to find a suitable person to be with you in life. But uh, you are failing. Is that true? That's true, man of God. I, I was having a, a, a face with the, another girl and then we separated. But now I'm still alone. The reason why I called you, because I saw your wife. Ooh. Today I'm giving it to you. Hey, this is oh great news. I do Jesus. not know if it's a place to find yeah. a woman. You know, I told you, I'll motivate you toward it. I will teach you to get it. But if you still not get it, I'll push you. I, I need a wife. Even today, I can, I can get married. It's not problem. Beloved, he has waited for far too long, but today God will lead him to the bone of his bone. He will find favor in the sight of the Lord. So today, anyway, you are ready to have a wife. You are, ah. you are ready for a relationship. I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready, man of God. Praise the Lord. I'm waiting. May your miracle locate you today. I don't know how many people I'm speaking to, but if it is you, make a Holy Ghost crazy noise. As you're celebrating God for his miracle, you're working out your own miracle. Oh, Lord. Now, you are ready. The reason why I'm saying I called you is because after praying, coming down among many people, looking at me, wanting deliverance, healing, breakthrough, I saw that uh, you have a similar situation. There is no relationship that is well. You have taken... Uh, uh, wrong decisions, series of wrong decisions, and it disappointed you. There is a time in your life where you felt like a, every woman is the same. They are all gold diggers. Some are diamond diggers these days. But, <laughs> but uh, they're all busy digging something, right? <laughs> so you, there was a time where you asked yourself, maybe marriage is not for me. That's but uh, since you came as a child of God, you know that no, I got to align. Is that true? That's true, bro. I'm even seeing that the family is putting you under pressure and saying that, uh, when will you stabilize? Is yeah, that true? That's true, man of God. Because I'm the firstborn, so I, I supposed to get married first. It was my, I got my four young brothers. 
So they are waiting for me to get married first. So your young brothers are waiting for you to get married before they get married? Yeah, uh, according to our culture. Not, according uh, to the culture? Yeah. Okay, I see. Very interesting culture. <laughs> Family, I don't think his brothers will have to wait long. But you, you say you, you're ready because your wife, I think your wife is here today. Beloved, this prophecy just took an interesting turn. So we're supposed to have locate her right now. I'm lost for words. This has never happened before. Oh no, no, my no, no, goodness, no, no, where here. is she no, no, seated? <laughs> Family, he's so excited. He's already begun looking. Your wife is here today. This is a different aspect of the prophetic. I'm waiting, Pastor. Do you have a girlfriend right now? No, I don't have a girlfriend. Is there anybody that you love, you're seeing from far, you like? Hmm? Uh, no, no, but no. <laughs> no. You say you've been here for one year. Is there any beautiful uh, soul that you have spotted on the corridors? Yeah, but... <laughs> <laughs> Hmm? Not yet. Yeah. Not yet. <laughs> yeah. But just choose for me, Pastor. I'm if you trust the prophetic, you can't go wrong. Okay, hear this. Hear this. Not everybody who want to get married, the, the wife or their husband, uh, he's here. Uh, but yours is here. Amen. Woo. There is a lady that has been praying for seven days fasting. Oh, Jesus. Amen. This lady has no child and saying that the time is passing. Oh, God. And the Lord is telling me, you are the answer to that prayer. Oh. I love that there's no prayer that is too small or it's insignificant for God to answer. Can I find her for you? Amen. Can I find her for you? Amen. Can I find her for you? Man, it for me, man. There is so much anticipation and curiosity from the saints. This is a divine connection. All right. All right. All right. Everybody lift your hand. Not for marriage. Just lift it for blessing. <laughs> that, that, that you may know that God loves us. Amen. And everything about us is connected. Yes. That's how God operates. It draws you always closer to your miracle. Amen. Some of you are looking for your miracle far, but your miracle is close. Mm. Yeah. It may have come from far, but now it's close. Oh, yes. Because God is drawing yourself. Do you think that I can go and find her? Yes. The prophetic grace that this general carries has always been one of precision. Do you think so? Okay, everybody sit down now. Sit down so I may see well. So that you may okay. know and believe okay. that God okay. has opened his servant's eyes. Clearly look at the multitudes. Okay. There's no way that one can guess. This is God's power at work. Well, please understand, I'm not choosing. Don't be afraid. Or don't be too excited. Just be you. There is a specific person. But I need you to come down. I can't do it in the flesh. Can you imagine the pastor picks somebody else's wife. This is a highly spiritual and sensitive moment. Pastor Arthur is accountable to God and can therefore not be in the flesh. I'll blame you if you... <laughs> Bless you, Jesus. Jehovah Shammah I see you everywhere as the choir leads the man of God in a worship song, Pastor of yields to the leading of the Holy Ghost, the source of his prophetic anointing. We're mightily excited. My family, let us ponder on the significance, on the depth of this moment. God is the orchestrator of this union. No demon, no how can destroy it. I put my confidence in you, Jehovah. Amen. Amen. The God of the spirits of the prophets. The God of our forefathers, the apostles. Amen. Jehovah Shammah. Yes. Watching this brings comfort to my spirit. If all our spouses could be yes. found in the right manner in the presence of God, family, there'd be no divorces. It is by the grace of God that this gentleman was located and is now helped in the finding of his God-ordained life partner. Whoa, whoa. 
pastor offers in prayer, calling on God the Father to have his way, giving himself completely to be used by his maker as an instrument. You enlarge the spirit of the prophet to the path to follow. Yes, Lord. In you, there is no confusion. Amen. Now, this is eternal life. Amen. That they may know you, the true God, and Jesus Christ, whom you sent. Enlighten my spirit. You say this man's companion, right decision is here. And you say she has been speaking to you. Place my confidence in you, Lord. I put my confidence. Stay here. And pray for me. Remain standing. Completely surrendered to the goddess of God, Pastor Off walks between the thousands of congregants seated here. I wonder if this woman in question is aware that it is her that Pastor Off is looking for. She may be aware, but also in shock. The prophetic is a tool that is able to bring all things into light. It is only as you embrace it and believe it that you are able to eat the fruit thereof. Lucky Alex expressed to the servant of God that he trusted him. Had he closed himself up, then this moment would have not been possible. Walking slowly and looking intently about the crowd, Pastor Off searches for this woman. Where could she be? God is not a man that he may lie. Pastor Off heard directly and clearly from God that Alex's future wife is here. If God said it, family, we believe it, and that settles it. I will find you. Family, I have no doubt that Pastor Alf will find this woman. He is not gambling this, nor is he fabricating it. Somebody, your miracle will locate you. Hey, I receive it. It's location time. Your miracle is coming to you. Somebody receive. You will not leave this place without your breakthrough, not under this anointing. Have faith. I put my The man of God stops in this particular staircase and I'm beginning to wonder, is she here, beloved? I think she may be here. My name is Aflukau. God's oracle, the facilitator of your miracle. God has answered you. Hey! My God. God has answered you. <laughs> You fasted for seven days. Beloved, this is the woman. Glory to God. Oh my goodness, she is so overwhelmed. Her prayers did not fall on deaf ears. I see gratitude all over her countenance. Thank you, Jesus. You're a faithful God. Pastor Alf walked to the exact place where she was seated. Family, the prophetic baffles me. We cannot figure it out. Wow, I don't know what words to utter to God for his goodness, for his grace. Father, I thank you. This is just mind blowing. Seven days prayer is being answered. I can hear you. Be encouraged to pray without season. For the earnest heartful prayer of a righteous man availeth much. Our God is not made of stone. He's a prayer answering God. Tembi! I'm hearing Tembi. Is that you? Yes, Papa. The 5th of June. Yes, Papa. 
Is that you, Tembi? <laughs> you are Papa, five no. in the family. Yes, Papa. I was born on the 5th of June in 1986. 1986. Papa. God is doing such wonders through the prophetic. She's never spoken to Pastor Off before. I see when we are fasting for seven days. You were also fasting for seven days. Yes, Papa. What were you asking God? I was asking God to give me a husband. <laughs> she prayed in secret and God heard her and he answered her in the eyes of millions. He's a mighty God. There is power locked in prayer and fasting. This is the Jesus. Hear me. We were fasting for seven days. Yes, Papa. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Now, are you part of this church? Yes, Papa. You're part of the church? Yes. You are fasting for seven days? Yes. You are asking God to give you a husband? Yes. Did you tell me that? No, Papa, I've never spoken to you. Did you tell anybody that you are fasting for seven days for a husband? Uh, no, I didn't tell anyone. Actually, when we were prophesying, I was feeling cold and I was shaking. I told oh, this Jesus. man that I'm feeling cold. Come here. I'm shaking. <laughs> hey. do, you, do you know each other? No. You don't know? I don't know. Yet. But when I'm prophesying, what did she tell, tell she, you? She told me... She, she, she get cold here. Yeah. She's feeling cold. She's feeling cold, yes. <laughs> All right. But you do not know each other? No, no. Just... And she didn't say anything more? She said she, she, knows, she, she knows that. That, might, that might, my, might be my husband. The man of God is talking to me. Somebody! Beloved, we're not a normal church. This may not make sense to you, but this is one of the ways in which the prophetic works. She felt it in her innermost part that this was her husband. She discerned, she knew that she had not prayed in vain. We are prophetic. We are apostolic. We are Emma. I say, we are prophetic. days the scripture tells us that God will raise men and women who will move in the prophetic and Pastor Arf is one of the generals that God has placed in our midst through him we will see a fleet of sons and daughters who will operate in the same grace as God begins to pour out his spirit thank you Lord family where am I the house where God dwells follow me Beloved, she's going to encounter that which she has been seeking and trusting God for these last seven days. She is finally going to meet her future husband. This is just a glorious moment. I can't even put words to it. I'm just happy. The heart is overflowing with joy. The devil fights marriages at all costs. And he will do everything in his power to ensure that you either do not find a partner or you fall into the arms of a wrong person. But God today has performed an incredible miracle of prophetically bringing together souls that have been alone for a while. That which God has brought together, especially under such an anointing, no man or evil spirit will pull asunder. God the glory. We bless his mighty name. Beloved Pastor Alf and Tembi and I was sending the staircase to where Alex is waiting. I wonder what is going through his mind right now. I'm just thrilled. Oh, thank you Jesus. We serve an amazing God. You have prayed for seven days. Yes, Papa. You fasted. Yes, Papa. When I was prophesying here, yes, Papa. you were up there. Yes. Up there. And you say you were feeling cold. Yes. You knew. Hey! Yes. You knew that uh, the man of God is speaking about my husband. Yes, Papa. Is that true? Yes, Papa, it's true. You told me. In case you've forgotten, uh -huh. beloved Alex had expressed that he'd even get married today. Here is his miracle.
I'm surprised. Hey, hey. Woo. You told me that you are looking for somebody from God today, today. Is that true? Yes, yes true. Look at him. Look at her. Don't be shy. Pastor is here. Just see how happy they are. Never haven't spoken before, but evidently contend with each other. Did they know coming to church today as single individuals that they would not leave single? Did you see her? No. Can you see her now? I see her. Do you know her? No, I don't. You know. have never met her? Never in my life. Do you know him? No, Papa, I don't know him. You have never met him? No, I've never met him. Hey, this is God family. Woo! Give him glory. Now, isn't she beautiful? Yes, Papa. The look on his face as he agrees with Pastor Off that she's beautiful is priceless. God will give you your heart's desires. In simple terms, family, God will give you your type of man, your type of woman. This is incredible. Okay. Now, isn't she beautiful? She is beautiful very much. Do you think this may be the right one? Yes, she's my type. She's your type? Yes. God knows what you desire. Let us not get too spiritual about this. To a certain degree, you agree with me that looks matter. Hear me? God will not give you somebody else's type. He'll give you the desires of your heart. He is God and he is evil. Yellow ball. Mm -hmm. Yellow purpose. Yes. Very spiritual fasting. Hey. Seven days fasting, no problem. Yeah. <laughs> now, do you think it will work? I, I think it will work. Especially now that it's coming from you, Papa. It will work. By the power of God, the prophet facilitated this miracle. Now, this union cannot me. fail. This is not yeah, me yeah, doing I. that. Yeah. This is God doing it. Not for me, but for you. Amen. I'm just a facilitator. Amen. Pastor offers a mere vessel used by God. And because God is at the center of this, they will be happy. Do you have a bag that side? Yes, yes, Papa. Where, where, where is your, your belonging? Take it, take your belonging. <laughs> Somebody's life has taken a different turn. Your life also has taken a different turn. I receive it. Is this your bag? Yeah, it's my bag. Now, you told me you're a supervisor. Yes, sir. You have a job and financially you're okay. Yeah, man. Take care of her. I'll do so, but Right. Since her bag is up there, I don't want her to go walk. It's a long distance alone. She, she did already too many long distances alone. Oh, God. One more is too much. Yeah. Walk with her and have time to know each other. I will pray for you when that is meet each other. Hey! They exchange their very first hug and I just see joy. Show you where you sit and make space. God bless you. We love you. May it be well with you. May it materialize. We bless you. Not a normal occurrence. But you see, beloved, we do not serve a normal God. No, He is the God of exaggerated miracles. Look at Tandy's face. She is shocked. She is happy. And I know that you share the same sentiment. My goodness. The saints are congratulating this new couple. And we will indeed stand in prayer for them. May God bring them closer to one another. May love be the foundation of all things in their union. May God keep them and give them the ability to solve problems should any arise. Thank you, Jesus. Something unusual is about to happen to somebody. Hey! If you were blessed by this video, be sure to subscribe to our channel. You can catch Pastor Arf Lukau on AMI TV on the public bouquet or on our live stream on AMITV.com. You can follow Pastor Arf Lukau on all social media platforms at Arf Lukau.